Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Every now and then, and I don't take any joy out of doing what I'm about to do as far as the, uh, this video and what it entails. But every now and then, you have to straighten people out. Because if you don't, they think that it's okay. Because I have some of my loyal supporters and, and subscribers, and I appreciate you guys. They say, hey, man, just don't focus on those haters. I'm not. The purpose of what I do, as far as this video I'm about to do, is to, first of all, let them know that this doesn't work here. You know, you got to take that nonsense to another yard. Second is to help young people determine what they should do, what they can't do, you know, what they should do and what they can't do, you know. So I'm going to read this because it's, it's funny. It's, it's, it's funny. You know, it's, it's hilarious. It's just, it's like, really, man, come on, you know. So I'm going to read this. I got a couple of guitars that I post on my video or my videos that I just don't have any use for. I got over 30 guitars presently in this place. I got maybe 50 all over the country in studios all over the country. Actually, I even got one in England. <laughs> As I think about it, you know, I forgot about that one. Because I got a dear good friend that lives in, uh, in England, you know, and uh, we've done work before years ago. It's been a long time since I've seen him and I miss him. But uh, from time to time, I just sell, you know, because I, I give you guys the best price that I can give you on good guitar because... Everybody that follows my channel know I don't play junk, you know, I don't play junk, you know, and junk is not defined by how much it's how much it costs. I've run across some expensive guitars that felt like shit. I ran across guitars that I paid $50 for and I wish you would have brought that one in here. You see me play as a white guitar. I got off eBay. The guy only wanted like 49 bucks for it. I bought it. And I'm not thinking that much of it. That, that guitar came and I, I love it. I play it all the time, you know, so it's not. Again, based on the price, because again, you can have a very expensive guitar to play like shit and a very supposedly cheap guitar that plays wonderful, you know. So uh, I have been trying to part with this guitar. Let me show it to you first. And there's nothing wrong with this guitar. Like I said, it has a great neck on it. And the tone is beautiful. It has a, it has a really bright, you know, Strat type of sound. So I was literally trying to give it away. And then I get an asshole that wants to leave this comment. Mr. One to One Music for Life. That's his screen name. And he says this. And this is, I blocked this guy before and he came back as another non name. It's like he don't think that I know who he is, you know, because it ain't that many idiots around here. They want to keep past trying to plaster, you know, some negative stuff on your channel. You know, you a grown ass man. Act like one, you know. Just that simple. But it reads like this. It's about time you start playing those cheap ass beginner guitars, Morris Man. A player of your pedigree should be playing a custom shop Fender Mate Strat or Telly. Damn, I'll give you the money if you that broke, brother. First of all, brother, I'm not broke. I don't think I've ever been broke in my life, you know? And I'm going to give you a little personal on me. I was able to retire from my corporate job of 29 years before I reached 60, okay? Then the music career is professional. I made a good lot of good made a lot of good money doing this, you know, so trust me, my brother, I ain't broke. And, and the reason why I'm selling these guitars for such a low price, it ain't got shit to do with I need money. What it has to do, since you're so stupid, don't realize this, I'm just trying to put Quality guitars in the hands of people that can't afford to waste two thousand dollars on the fucking guitar. I've been playing professionally since I was what eighteen. I've never played two thousand dollars for a fucking guitar. Why? Cause I don't have to. That's that marketing bullshit, and there's some people that are dumb enough to fall for it and waste their money and make another man rich. You know? Come on, man, wake up. You know? Wake up. Ain't got shit to do with. You know, a guy of my pedigree that I should be playing custom guitars. I'm not spending $2,000 on the fucking guitar. Come on, man. You're crazy. You know, but again, this is the stupidity of people that have been brainwashed by the marketing to believe that you can only get a quality guitar if you're wasting a bunch of fucking money. <sighs> Idiots. 
You know, that's what you are, idiots. The people that do that, you know, and that, and I'm keeping it real. I'm a professional musician. I'm not some guy sitting on the sideline just giving my opinion. I've been involved in this business of music since I was 18, professionally. 17, 18, 19, 18 to 19. So trust me, I know what I'm talking about. You know, I know what I'm talking about. You know, I don't just play these things. I understand the business of music because I've been in the music business. And there's some people that don't understand that those are two different animals. Being a hell of a musician and then being well uh, studied in, in the business of music because the music is a business. Unless you're just playing for free and just entertaining people and not, and not you know, getting paid. That's, that's wonderful if that's your situation, you know. But I've been a part of this business of music since I was 18 years old. So I think I know what the fuck I'm talking about, you know, really. You know, and this nonsense again about I should be playing this. Come on, man. Wake up, you know. It's just amazing that there's some people that are still this stupid out here that believe that you got to go spend two fucking thousand dollars on an on instrument, you know. I'm like, I'm going to spend three hundred dollars at the most and I'm going to take the rest of that money and put it in my daughter's bank account towards further her education. That's what a smart man would do instead of go broke spending or paying for something that's overpriced and you making another man rich, you know. So I just thought I would respond to this because, again, sometimes I just ignore some of this. But I'm like, I got to get this guy told and the rest of people that believe this nonsense that you got to spend all this fucking money to get a quality to guitar. You know, the marketing has gotten you and, and, and still apparently got you, you know, because at one time when I first started to play, I kind of th- believe this kind of. But then as I realized, I'm like, this shit ain't true. They just want my money. They want a whole a large sum of my money. You know, but it's just unfortunate that you got some people that believe this, you know, because the guitar don't cost that much. It's cheap, you know, and here's another example of that. I got this guitar maybe about three months ago, and when it came, there were some issues that I couldn't visibly initially see. So I thought, you know, I got my hat got and got, you know, then I really, really looked at it. I'm like, the only thing wrong with this guitar is. The pickup here that you can adjust to come up and down, it was up, and the string, one of the strings, a couple of them were rubbing up against it. Quick fix, less than a minute. Took a screwdriver and lowered it, this thing plays like a champ. But at that point, I, I just kind of felt like getting rid of it just for, for the sake of it. Wasn't nothing wrong with it. I lowered this guitar down to $59, and one guy said this, $59 guitar, i pass. I'm like, okay, dude. And it's interesting because as far as this guitar, again, people equate price with quality because because I was selling for only fifty nine dollars. I was literally giving this guitar away. I'm glad there were nobody bright enough to take it because I'm like, shit, ain't nothing wrong with this guitar. It, uh, actually, I did some research and found out who made this guitar and what year it came out. It came out in 82 and this guitar at that time cost six hundred dollars, you know, and it feels like. A, a, you know, a pretty good guitar. You know, this guitar is 20 some some years old and it's still in excellent shape. The action is still great on it. There's no issues with the neck warping, the quality the, and the tone is beautiful. And once I made that adjustment, like, you know what, I'm glad nobody took it. It's still up well, shit. You know, well, Morris man plays well and he wouldn't be paying gar- playing garbage. And we know that when it doesn't fit his, uh, you know, his standards, he's sending this shit back. You know, so it's like, well, he ain't sending it back, and he's on, I'm take, I'll take it. You know, because I had one guy, and he said this, and I'm going to wrap it up with this statement. As far as my guitar lessons, I'm literally giving those away $40, $20 sometime when I have my sale. And he made this statement. He said, Morris, man, the way that you play, and you're going to sh- show me how to play like this for only 40 bucks? Shit, I'm in. Exactly. You know, it's like there's some people that see things for what they are. And there's some people that want to believe something totally different. And they're idiots like this guy. He's an idiot. He honestly believed because I'm not going to spend two thousand dollars on the Fender Custom Shop and make some other dude rich that I'm I'm the idiot. It's a joke, man. You know, it's, it's really a joke, you know. But again, I post these kind of videos for young folks. Don't don't become an idiot. 
You know, don't become an idiot like this guy who don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but he thinks he does. You know, it's a joke. It's the fucking joke. Till next time, take care and thanks for watching.